every day in Africa, this extraordinary continent keeps mutating towards an era of pure excellence and originality. Africa has become an oasis of hope for this planet in terms of authentic creativity and originality. The era of stagnation and repetition, which always made Africa predictable in the past, is no longer relevant because Africa is the new frontier of real superstars. South Africa and West Africa have consistently held the flags of Africa inside the international entertainment industry. But to the biggest surprise of the world, a new force to reckon with has forcefully and deliberately emerged in East Africa. Tanzania, Uganda and Kenya are not asleep. That's why recently East Africa has given both South Africa and West Africa a huge wake-up call. The entertainment industry in East Africa keeps attracting worldwide recognition. Today, we take you to East Africa, the home of talent. Today, we take you to a country which is currently holding the flag of East Africa through their excellence. This is the inspiring and told story of brilliance and, and mastery from Tanzania as we give you the powerful story of a music queen from Tanzania. This is the story of Zuhura Othman Sud, popularly known as Zucho. Several years back in Tanzania, East Africa, a young, talented, and passionate Tarab musician fell in love with an extraordinary songwriter known as Othman Sud. As the young couple struggled to turn their dreams to reality inside the music industry, Mr. Othman Sud started writing songs for the wife. Slowly by slowly, the wife started becoming famous even though she was also a songwriter but falling in love with a man who believed in her dreams boosted her passion for music because every day Mr. Othman Sud would write excellent poetry and then the wife would convert the poetry to good music through her angelic Tarab voice. The wife started becoming famous in Tanzania and through hard work she got to the point where other neighboring countries in East Africa started responding to her powerful genre of music. The name of this powerful woman is Khadija Kopa. Few years later, God blessed the couple with two kids, Omari Kopa and Zuhura Othman Sud, popularly known as Zucho. This has always been a family of talented musicians and genius songwriters. The father, Othman Sud, was one of the greatest songwriters in Tanzania. The mother, Khadija Kopa, was one of the powerful pioneers of Tarab music in East Africa. The elder brother, known as Omari Kopa, spent his whole life composing and performing the most legendary Tarab music ever witnessed from this side of Africa. But unfortunately, he lost his life after a short illness after a while in East Africa. But the death of Omar Kopa changed the trajectory of the entire family of Mr. of Mr. Othman and from that day 
nothing was ever the same again. Omari Kopa was a very famous songwriter and performer in East Africa. But beyond being a famous songwriter, he was also the elder brother to Zuchu. Zuchu was born in the year 1995, 22nd of October in Tanzania, in a family full of musicians. Zuchu is the youngest daughter to Othman Sud and Khadija Kopa. Zuchu had to grow up around a famous mother and a famous brother, but unfortunately, at some point, their father decided to walk away from them as he joined the disciplined forces of Tanzania. As the father walked away, he ended up starting a different family away from his initial family. And that's why Zuchu has constantly confessed that her respect for the dad still remains intact but she, she still remembers the loneliness and the emptiness of how it felt when their dad left them and walked away. Few years later Zuchu finished both primary school and secondary school then she got the rare opportunity to pursue higher education outside Africa in India in which she graduated with an advanced diploma in business and commerce before she returned back to Africa. Life is always unpredictable and success is never guaranteed in this planet. That's why Zuchu at a very young age noticed that nothing would ever be given to her on a silver plate. Because when the father walked away from them, at some point, Zuchu felt like her world was shattered as she now had to be raised by a single mother. But luckily, the elder brother always gave Zuchu a shoulder to lean on. Zuchu's elder brother constantly perfected his own ability inside the music industry and his fame and creativity gave him the ability to assist their already famous mother, Khadija Kopa, to provide a better life for Zuchu, so that Zuchu could get good education. But unfortunately, one day, when Zuchu was in school, she got the most terrifying news that the elder brother had just lost his life after a short illness. From this moment onwards, Life was never the same again for Zuchu. The most painful thing is that Zuchu never got the chance to attend the brother's funeral. And up to date, Zuchu has never visited the gravesite of the elder brother because it took Zuchu several years to accept that the brother was no more. As Zuchu grew up, the dad was not in her life. And now that the elder brother was also gone, it was not that easy for Zuchu growing up in Tanzania without a father figure in her life. After finishing school and now ready to face the world on her own, Zuchu wanted and desired to create her own path in life away from the shadow of her famous mother, Khadija Kopa. At some point, Zuchu wanted to be a lawyer, but the mother advised her against it. And then again, at some point, Zuchu wanted to be a politician, but again, deep inside her heart, she already knew her love for music, but she never wanted anyone to accuse her of building her music career under the shadow of her famous mother. The universe is full of mystery. And the universe is always stubborn in the path of a legend because as fate would have it, one day a national singing competition was launched in Tanzania and through her own instinct and bravery, Zuchu decided to take part in that specific singing competition known as Techno on the Stage. Luckily, 
Zuchu qualified for the auditions which were conducted in Dar es Salaam, Tanzania. Taking part in that singing competition was one of the bravest and most courageous steps Zuchu ever made in her music career. And even though she passed the auditions, she knew that she would meet other tough and talented singers around Africa. But this was a risk that Zuchu was willing to take. And luckily, Zuchu did not win the singing competition. And once again, the dreams of Zuchu were shattered into small pieces in front of her eyes. As Zuchu lost in the competition, she returned back home broken and frustrated. And for the first time in her life, Zuchu admits that she wanted to give up on her dream of becoming a musician. Zuchu had to painfully watch as someone else lifted the trophy, but little did she know that this was just a chapter of pain in the book of greatness towards her future. This is the point in which her mother, Khadija Kopa, decided to ask Zuchu not to give up in life. And her mother encouraged her to keep fighting towards her dream in life. As time went by, Zuchu kept working on her vocals and through mentorship of her mother, she kept improving her writing skills even though nothing good was happening in her music career. Zuchu decided not to give up and every day she would write her own songs and always pushing herself, hoping that one day she would get an opportunity to follow her dream again towards the path of greatness. One day, Zuchu's mother was preparing an event, so Zuchu had the mother planning to meet one of the top artists in Tanzania. But as Zuchu listened closely to her mother's conversation, she noticed that the mother was going to have a meeting with Diamond Platinums. And bravely, without a doubt, Zuchu asked her mother if she could escort her to the meeting. The mother accepted, and that's the first day Zuchu got the first ever closed door meeting with Diamond Platinums. Zuchu's mother had gone for her own business plans with Diamond Platinums, but at the end of the meeting, she introduced Zuchu to Diamond, and on that day, Diamond Platinums decided to give Zuchu her first ever opportunity to audition for Wasafi Records. Diamond Platinums has always been a perfectionist. His ability to scout for talent has always made him the most respected talent scout in East Africa. So on this day, when Diamond met Zuchu, he did not like the first song that, that Zuchu auditioned with. So Diamond asked Zuchu to do another song and through the grace of God, Zuchu was able to capture the attention of Diamond Platinums with her second audition. Few days later, Diamond Platinums decided to take Zuchu under his mentorship. But it, it was not always as easy as it looks because Wasafi Records is a label full of extraordinary talents. And being mentored by Diamond takes extreme level of patience and discipline for you to be signed as an official artist under the Wasafi brand. Every day, for a period of four years, Zuchu had to prove herself. And at times, she wanted to give up because she would always watch as other artists were being signed officially, as she never got the chance at first. A whole year passed, and the second year passed, and again the third year passed. Zuchu was still patient, just sharpening her singing skills. 
and her writing skills still under mentorship. Working hard under the mentorship of Diamond Platinums, but finally, on the fourth year, the impossible happened. After four years of mentorship and patience, Zuchu was finally unveiled as the new signing under Wasafi Records. And with tears in her eyes, she reflected back on what it took for her to be patient for four years through extraordinary level of discipline. And that's the day her life changed forever. From that day onwards, Zuchu has been unstoppable. Zuchu is currently the most followed female artist in East Africa with an organic following of one million loyal followers on social media. Zuchu has risen to become one of the greatest and most sought after brand in East Africa. From a small step of courage, the young girl who struggled to follow her dreams as she grew up in a broken home has now managed to become a powerful role model to millions and millions of girls across Africa and the world. Thank you, Zucho, for setting an example to young girls in Africa. Thank you, Zucho, for proving to girls across Africa that dreams are valid. Thank you, Diamond Platinums, for giving Zuchu a chance to sharpen her creativity under the Wasafi records. Thank you, Zuchu, for putting East Africa and Africa on the map of the world through excellence and professionalism.